945, time now to put your imagining caps on and imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, and we've got blue hands. But the rest of us, we're all the right color this morning. <laughs> Good morning right. to you. Went to your hands now. Well, you're definitely going to need your safety glasses for this oh, one as well. Oh, boy. I thought we'd talk about plastics today. Okay. Okay, and in particular, uh, polystyrene or styrofoam. Gotcha. So, Tony, if you could just uncork this bottle of liquid and very carefully pour the liquid into that top uh, coffee cup. When you say carefully, I know this is not just water. Right, just go ahead and pour it in. Just okay. Just get it in it. there. Just we'll start off with I this. I hear a little bubbling crude there. Oh, oh, hey, whoa, okay, uh, hey, hey, oh my, <laughs> oh, it eats right through it. <laughs> it eats right through it, so the whole thing just what starts What was to, in that beaker? <laughs> right. so what was in there was acetone. Ah. Okay, it's an organic solvent. And what happens is, since the styrofoam is polystyrene that's been whipped with lots of air, the acetone will actually break apart the bonds of the polymer and you can actually release all that air that was trapped inside. Okay? <laughs> That's cool. So coffee cups, you know, because they have that air whipped inside there, they're great insulators. Sure. You put the hot liquid inside, your hand doesn't get burned because it's, they can be up to 98% air. Oh, wow. Which is, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around maybe what is 90% air, 98% air. So mm -hmm. here's some okay. styrofoam. Let's go ahead and okay. just drop that right down to that. Slowly, beaker. we're going to watch sure. the styrofoam get devoured, right. is what you're saying. Now, that's part of the problem with styrofoam. Yeah, just keep pushing it right down okay. in there. That's part of the problem with styrofoam in terms of recycling, is that it has so much air whipped into it, and you can see as you're pushing that down in there, you just get like a little bit of what turns out to be a, a styrene polymer, polystyrene uh, residue on the it top. It gives off a funky odor too. It does, you're releasing the air that's trapped inside those little bubbles inside the styrofoam. But what's amazing is you can just keep pushing more and more and more of this into there, all because it's whipped up so much. And of course, that's a problem with recycling, I was saying, is because most curbside recyclers don't want to pick up uh, styrofoam, even though it is recyclable. Sure. Um, there is a place locally, if you check out the Lucas County website, you can find out where to take your styrofoam that you get in all your packaging and whatnot. Um, so you can recycle it, but just not on the curbside stuff. I just can't but believe it. It's like a magic it just, trick. It just keeps going and going and going. There's no hole underneath the table, there's no, folks. There's nothing there. And all you're doing is you're just breaking apart the bonds of the polymer so that it um, releases the air that's whipped inside. Now, polystyrene can be used for other stuff. Um, okay. Disposable razors, CD sure. cases, these plastic glasses. Okay. It's all the same stuff, but styrofoam has been whipped with air. And so as I was playing with this, I thought, this might provide an opportunity for a really cool uh, chemistry demonstration. I'm thinking kids going back to school, okay. right? thinking about safety, and we're being safe, right? We've got our safety glasses yep. on. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home, but <laughs> we have um, a little, this is Carol, for lack of a better oh, name Oh, Carol, okay. you're about to get hosed. Carol, <laughs> you know, science teachers always have a hard time with uh, students. They want to wear their safety goggles as a fashion statement okay. on the top of their head. All they right. don't want to wear them. I thought this would be really cool as a memorable moment <laughs> in your chemistry class as to why you should wear protection. Okay. Right, so we're just going to gently sprinkle Carol with a little uh, acid. Sprinkle? Should go I ahead. hit the face here? Just go ahead and hit the top oh, of the head. Oh, I got her eye. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. So again, all we're doing is just, it's oh, kind of goofy, it's kind of fun. But it's, it's uh, like reanimator. <laughs> it is. Oh, man. But imagine, now you got a classroom of kids mm -hmm. and you're talking about safety and why it's important to wear your safety gear. This is going to leave a memory <laughs> it's just kind of cool as well, right? I mean, oh, uh, friends, <laughs> don't let your friends melt your face. All right. That's right. Carl Fun Nelson, with styrofoam. Always excellent to have your imagination with us here. Here are the hours for the Imagination Station downtown. And please, once again, don't try this at home. <laughs> We're going to turn it now over to Dave Holmes with the Football Friday Wrap.